All right, guys. Uh, sorry for the uh, in the middle of the uh, cut. So we're saving this, and we are going forward with uh, chapter eight. I think that's what it is. It's gonna save it, and then um, we'll move forward. Let's see uh, what's uh, in store for us. Interesting. Please step inside. Hey, aren't these three supposed to be fighting a war? Supposed to be. Kind of a weird place for us to meet, Chairman Hoshino. Especially considering the three of you look more like you're ready to have a tea party than tear each other's throats out. Usually we meet only once a year, unless there's a need to share information face to face, as we must now. We always do what it takes to keep the Great Wall intact. Your men are killing each other out there. You don't want to stop them? Stop them? Two of my youngest men were gunned down without mercy. Leomang Turf's been raided right up to the perimeter of their base. There's no stopping any of it now. At this point, whoever retreats first will have lost the war. I can't lay down my spear until that happens. That's pretty much the same deal for me. So then why are you two here? Gonna decide the war over a game of cards? <laughs> Not the worst idea. What the fuck? People are dying! And meanwhile you three are just hanging out playing nice? Think your men would approve? Do any of you even care what your own people think? Kasuga, there's no need to throw fits about what you don't understand. Do you know right now Captain Takabe is Xiao's prisoner? <laughs> prisoner? We're treating him more like an uninvited guest. Honestly, I'd let him go if I had one good reason to. I just don't, that's all. So you're going to sit here and do nothing? Just let the chips fall where they may? That's how it needs to be. A bunch more pointless deaths is how it needs to be? They're not pointless. Our men's willingness to fight is the entire reason we're able to serve as checks on each other. As long as the triangle remains balanced, it can hold firm against outside pressure. That's much like how Japan established separation of powers after the end of its dictatorship. It's not perfect. But it's the best solution we have. Do you see the logic there? Oh boy, a post-war history lesson. What? That's what you're comparing it to, right? Yes, because it's relevant. The post-war period is when the town's lines of power were drawn. Huh? The black market was born from the ashes of the war. It laid the foundation for modern-day Jincho. Back then, the Seiryu clan was thriving. But in Chinatown, two rival Chinese gangs were competing for dominance. The winner of that fight prospers in Chinatown to this day. The gang that lost became the Yokohama Liuman. They were driven out of Chinatown and into Jincho. The Seryu clan wasn't about to take that kind of invasion lying down. For a time, the gutters practically ran with Liumang and Seryu blood. Man, you're gonna lecture until the bell rings, Professor? You want to understand what's going on? Then you need the history, you smartass. If you want to understand the fake money, that is. The Seryu clan knows about that? Yes. All the fake money printed by the Komi Jewel goes through me. But doesn't that mean the Seiryu clan is the real puppet master behind all this? How do you figure that? Mabuchi started forging Chinese Yuan, sure. But only because of the counterfeit yen. I think I'm starting to figure all this out. The Liu Mang brings in the paper. The Komi Jewel prints the bills. But then, the Seiryu clan keeps all the profit? Wait. Are you all in this together? Kasuga-kun, calm down, you're jumping to conclusions. Because I'm pissed off right now! 
First I'm kidnapped, accused of being a Seiryu Yakuza, then blamed for being the spark that ignites a war, nearly killed over Namba's thing. Now I'm here with the Eijing Three, who, by the way, don't even give a shit about the war! Tell me, why should I calm down? He's got a point. And you with your damn Seiryu clan! You're the one getting the most out of this! No, because we're not the final destination of the fake Yen. That will be Yutaka Ogikubo's pocket. Yutaka Ogikubo? I saw his name in an article. He's some big shot in the Citizens Liberal Party. All three of you are working together to support him politically? Why? Huh. Suddenly my history lesson seems relevant, doesn't it? <sighs> Fine. Get on with it. Ogikubo is the man who proposed making fake money in Ijincho. This was 60 years ago. He pitched the idea to the first Seryu chairman and first Liumang boss. A politician suggested committing federal crime to a bunch of gangsters? For real? At the time, Ogikubo was only a member of the city council. But he saw the fights breaking out between the long-established Seryu clan and the newly arrived Liumang. He understood it was, in essence, a turf war. Knowing that, he looked for solutions to stop the bloodshed, solutions that would save lives. And eventually, he managed to find an answer. Fake money, of all things. Industry. Which in this case is, yes, fake money. Okikubo split the roles up evenly. That way, both organizations would have a common goal. The Liumang would import special paper, the Seryu clan would print and transport the money. How did Ogikubo know the counterfeiting process? He didn't at first. But since he had faith in his plan and a desire for peace, he used every single connection he had to collect the raw materials, plus the recipe. Counterfeiting wasn't that difficult back then. Currency didn't have all the security features it has now. It's only gotten harder over the years. But anyway, after the first batch was printed, Ogikubo used it to bribe the cops. The cops? Not the Seiryu clan or the Liumang? There would have been no point in paying off those two. That conflict goes deeper. Ogikubo understood that. Okay, but why give it to the police? They wanted to control them, of course. And in the blink of an eye, they became his loyal servants. That ought to surprise no one given how corruptible law enforcement tends to be. Anyway, Ogikubo had his new minions in uniform crack down on one certain region of Ijincho. Well, that doesn't sound like such a bad thing. Yeah, he was making the city safer, right? Now that was just a side effect of what he really wanted. To squash every attempt by the Seiryu to drive out the Liuman. All police resources were dedicated to that one goal. It created a tiny pocket of Ijincho that was essentially violence-free. Well, I bet that worked out great for the Leo Mung. Oh, and you're the sharp one, I take it. Yes. That zone became the Liu Mung's home. So there it was. A place controlled by a criminal organization, but with low crime. The first gray zone. And the Seiryu clan just accepted that. Why would they give up their territory and all its income streams like that? Because they were getting continuous payouts from the counterfeiting operation. And that wasn't the only thing. Anytime one of us did something that normally would have landed us in hot water, Ogikubo would contain it. He kept it off police reports. That kept us from losing men to the law. So there were plenty of benefits for us. All while we kept our honor. This Ogikubo's a pretty shrewd guy. Nah. He just used some old tricks every politician knows. Oh. Well, perhaps. But do you understand now how we benefit from him? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. And my people reap those benefits also. In the 80s, the Komi Joel was saved by the Ijincho Grey Zone. How? Our parent organization was the Jingon Mafia, which formed decades ago in Korea. Even only a few years ago, he was a body double for their leader. 
But every time the Jingon Mafia got crushed, some of its people would drift to Ijincho. My mother was one of those. I was young when she brought me here. Ijincho was a breath of fresh air after living so long under their ridiculous code. More and more people heard about the relief we found here. So more came. But then our safety was threatened by something else. As our numbers grew, so did our clashes with the Yokohama Liomong. You started fighting them? Not outright. Ogikubo stepped in. Right before a real war erupted, he brought us a proposal that we take over the Seiryu's counterfeiting business. It was an offer of steady income and safe territory. How could we refuse? In return, we would perform the surveillance necessary to contain the secret. That's how we started to build a system that now monitors every inch of Ijincho. It became our way to contribute to the smooth running of Ijincho, alongside the Seiryu and Liomang. So that's the origin story behind the Ijin 3. Ever since, we've all supported Ogikubo. And he's supported us in kind. He used the huge streams of money from us to secure his seat at the helm of the Citizens' Liberal Party. Now, no one in the cabinet can speak against him. After masterminding a way to bring peace to the city, he moved up in the world. Well, there are worse ways to climb the ladder, but I can't condone it. It's still a cover-up. <laughs> really? So you would say even perfect results don't matter if the methods are flawed? What about the police themselves? What about their alliance with all the Yakuza which grew from the scorched earth of post-war Japan? Light and dark joined hands to rebuild, and that's how we got where we are today. You can't deny the ends justify the means. Ah, uh, well... What does it even matter what happened? Who cares about that stuff right now? It's all in Eugene Show's past. What we gotta think about is its future. So why'd you call us here? What do you want? <laughs> Your friend Nambakun, during his search for his brother, spied on us and invaded our privacy. I assume he began with the fake bills because that was his brother's subject of investigation. But he was reckless, digging through Komi Jewel affairs like a rabid raccoon. Right from the start, he's refused to show any respect to the Eugene Three. Now he's seen the counterfeiting for himself, and we have no idea where he is. We must ensure his permanent silence. Why are you telling us this? You looking to make a deal for his life or something? A deal? Kasuga, under most circumstances, all your lives would be forfeit. <laughs> but I have some idea of how this fake bill ended up in your pocket. What? Huh? You do? Out of respect for this person, I will look the other way. But who the hell was it? If you really want to know, you'll have to bring Namba to me. Personally. We can't do that to Nanchan. Sure is tempting. Kasago, but I'll pass. Nothing I need to know so bad that I'd sell out a friend. So we done here? You do realize, if word gets out about the counterfeiting, the Great Wall will crumble. And that means the end of the Grey Zone. Yeah, that would suck. For you. Look, the Great Wall keeps the peace with less than honorable means, sure. But it provides a safe haven for desperate souls with nowhere left to turn. Yeah, man, I get all that. Well, here's what you don't get, you moron. When we say no one gets in, that includes the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. So see, if we're talking about people who owe their lives to the Grey Zone, you're one of them, Kasuga-kun. Uh, what? After you were shot, the only reason the Omi didn't finish you off is because you were inside the zone. What are you trying to say? That I owe something to the city? Go ahead and act like you're above it all. 
but you've benefited from our operation as much as any of us. Fine. Still doesn't mean I'm gonna sell out a friend. Before you insist on that, I have something important to say. Yeah, what? We already have assassins hunting Namba. What the hell? Whose assassins? Mine. Somebody had to step up. That's stepping up in your book? Hunting an innocent man? Unlike you, Kasuga. I don't turn down attractive offers, but don't worry. I told my guys to make it painless. But, uh, my men have gotten a little rough lately. You son of a bitch! Call him off! No can do. I think one death for the sake of the whole city is worth the price. What do you say to our offer now? If you refuse, Namba will die. But aren't you gonna kill him all the same if we bring him to you? Instead of worrying about that, worry about getting to him first. Your clock's ticking. Hey, we don't even know where to look. I may have an idea. Well, there you go. So, Kasuga, given all this, what will you do? I mean, guess I'm rescuing Namba from your stupid assassins. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, let me just say first, a lot of to, uh, a lot of info to uh, digest and uh, comprehend. So basically, um, well, we kind of see this coming because it's always light and dark, always work in harmony. Um, I think that's the theme. And if you look at the original title, it is, um, I guess, the places where a Yakuza, like a dragon, a Yakuza where the light and the darkness meet. Um, they don't have that in the title screen for the westernized version, but if you go to the original version, it's there. And um, interesting, because um, a lot of these are uh, reoccurring themes where, you know, you have, you know, you have the, uh, you know, the police, the politicians uh, working hands in hand with, uh, you know, with the underground mafias. Uh, this definitely reminds me of another manga um, that's probably early 90s, I think. It's called Sanctuary. So I highly recommend uh, if those of you who, uh, who haven't heard this, check it out. It's uh, really a great manga series. Anyway, so let's continue. So apparently, can I walk around, right? So uh, can I even, no, can't go there. It's blocked. Obviously, uh, why would I leave? Uh, wait, talking to, uh... all right, there we go. Hey, yeah. So who gave you the fake bill? I worry about Nanchan, of course, but that got me curious. And then, all right, I'm, let's just talk. Now I'm in a pretty tight spot. Well, can talk to Aerie John? I guess not. All right, let's talk to, uh, so yeah. So for those of you who remember this guy's face, he is one of the uh, Korean, uh, uh, what was that? Uh, the mafia boss, that Kiru. Uh, and so the fact that they're saying his a uh, body double, that just give you, you know, th that's a dead giveaway where uh, Kiru actually fought him or whoever he's trying to be in the previous Yakuza game. No. Yo. Yes. Hmm? I see. Hey, yeah. Yo. Sup?
Well, we know where we're going to go next. All right, so the Jingong Mafia. That's the uh, Korean gang that we know. Any time now, my slow PS4, not even a pro, not with a solid state drive, just a regular PS4 from the old days. All right, so we are heading to Hakuryu or Hakuro building. Um, where is it though? Um, kind of far. All right, all right. So it's a new new area. But while we're at it, you know, you you see, hey, there's a specialty store. So let's just um take a little stroll down Chinatown. Hmm? Well, hey, hey. Anything that I have? Oh, right there. Minimal water because min mineral water. I gave it to um, the idol. What's his name? Yu Jingyu. Okay. Anyway. So if I go down here, the first store. <laughs> nice music. Oh, can't even go into the store? Sure. Let's take a look. So we could. Oh, uh, so for a bun here, 50 HP, which 150. For three, okay, and then roast chestnuts, two hundred. So, like, why would you get five hundred dollars on the bun if you can just get chestnut? Like, for a hundred dollar more, you get like double the uh, fifty more. All right, so I'm gonna get ten buns and shark fin buns. Look at this, three hundred HP. <laughs> you know what? Uh, no, I, I think I have. All right, there we go. And keep going down to the store here. Would I be able to go into the store? So this is the other place. Where am I buying? Uh, it says, uh, Hem and Meat Bond. Oh, it's the same thing. Wait, Bean Paste Bond. All right. I actually tried to cook these this morning and I screwed it up and um, I have to throw. Well, then again, they're expired. So, uh, Hem and Meat Bond. You know what? Let's make it 10. Right? Uh, Alright. So it's just a little shop here. And then. Oh, the, the rose chestnut. Tianjin Gan Li. Alright, that's. Actually, that's very good. Um, if you ever had it. Alright. Specialty store. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Right there. Let me just take a look. Ta da! <laughs> and also, you had the panda mask. And then you had the. Oh my god. The Chinese New Year mask. And then you have all these different. Um, I wonder if I can actually get, um... <laughs> interesting, let's take a look. Kaishin Specialty Store Employee. Alright, so for weapon... Uh... Oh, Tranquility Bat. Oh my god, this is fun. 94... Wow, look at the price tag on this. Intoxicane. That's Namba. Shaolin Club. Special effect. Uh, non okay, Oriental bag. Oh, really? Heat knuckle. All right. Steel ruler. Oh, that's oh. Okay, so I can actually get this. Eighty one, right? Uh, but this one right here, it's the Taiji Dao. Okay, Taiji Dao. Okay. Special gray. Uh, champagne. Okay, champagne. Master saber. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, not if if not for the price. Oh, there we go. How? Howling guitar. Uh, wait, but that's not for the um, gothic microphone. Steel ball. I still don't know what that job is. Uh, the whip. All right. And then for expert helmet. Wooden uh, wonder gown. All right. Wow, this is worth getting. Survival boots and tactical vest. Wow. All right. So, hmm. I should at least get this. And this. I mean, I could. Let me see. I have three hundred fifty-six thousand. Um, this is like half of what I have. You know what? I'm. I, you know, just like a Dragon Quest, I am going to earn money and come back here and buy these stuff. Um, oh, it actually tells you the uh, stats. So stats goes up. Everything basically goes up with this one, and this is even more. All right. So I'm going to buy this and give it to uh, one of the ladies. 
Um, why not, right? Would you like to equip? Of course. So if you see, that's pretty cool. It tells you. So the goes up 18. Well, all right, they had the defensive vest. Um, but then dexterity goes down. Attack resistant. Um, I think I'm going to give it to... Um, hmm. Well, he is a tank. But just by principle, I'm, I'm going to give it to... Uh, it's a gown. I'm not going to see Adachi wearing that. Uh, I'm going to give it to her. All right. And uh, for that, I will get a survival boots on top of it. I can always get a tactical vest later. All right, so get that. All right, there goes the money. Uh, gear, fanatic. All right, so this is actually good for Adachi because it goes all up. None of it went down. So there we go. All righty. So, so let's see. Um, the other thing is, now that I have these, so he's no longer wearing the... Uh, boots I wonder well I still have the cool boots <laughs> um, right all right never mind so so far everything's still good um, what is she wearing for metal shin guards okay what about her uh, point to toes do I get a better in any of those equipments I guess not all right you know what all right that's we're good We'll come back here. Let's uh, head towards... Hmm, I wonder if I can... Right, look at this. Wait a second. What is this? Uh, Peony Hotel. Too bad I can't... I mean... <laughs> I can't explore every corner of this town. It's, this just looks like a place where you can actually... There we go. See? I mean... It's a dead giveaway, just like a corner, perfect place for um, Toho Clan crust. Enemy, do I want to face them? There's also another, okay, Sweet Heaven, and then, then uh, Ishin Town. Alright, you know what, let's uh, pick a fight. Level 23, alright. You're right, we are going to use area attack. Oh wow, ouch. Alright, then follow up with this. Alright. Oh, wrong guy! Oh my god, I thought I was pointing at Oh, that was disappointing. I am going to use this and then uh, do it with the Kung Fu guy here, I think. Good. Now I have to withhold their. Gee, that was fast. Let me just do it again. Oh, I missed it. My lord, no defense there. This some kind of joke? Let's go. You're gonna be in a okay. world of hurt. Are you serious right now? All right, not bad. I can I can deal with this. I think. All right, um, is there a taxi here? There we go. That looks like a taxi. Wait, I can also eat from here. Right? No, not here. Right here. Let me just eat something. Oh, almond tofu. Oh, interesting. Um, 
This looks nice. Plus MP. I can deal with this. Don't really need a small boost here. Uh, oh, enemy. No, I'm not about to have another fight. I think I'm gonna go, um, go to the taxi stand. Please, yep, yeah, it is the taxis. And then, um, get in. Where am I going? Uh, can I, what's the closest, I guess, here? And then, right here, you come up below our resident residential district or you know what actually let me go back to survive bar because um i mean why not just heal up and uh regroup i mean i i should still be leveling out a little bit because i even though that last battle the enemies were like 23 24 it, it still feels um I, I can probably level up to maybe 25, 26 before I proceed with this next chapter uh, just to be safe. And at the same time, I can level up my jobs and then uh, even play some management games. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's go in back into the bar first. Wait, actually, can I pick up? Garlet. Daikon. Alright, now I can... Now I can actually plant more. Alright, uh, tomato. Let's, uh, do, um... Onion. Let me uh, play a different tune. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go forth with the story because um, this this will definitely um, move my relationship up with um, Psycho. Right, I'm gonna save just in case I messed up. Save often. Save frequently. Save everywhere. Alright, let's uh, talk to her. Yo, Sajan. Oh, Ichiban. Perfect timing. Listen to this. Uh, what's up? Oh, is it about Nanua? Yeah. I worked up the courage to call her and asked if she'd been caught up with any bad guys lately. And how'd that go? Um, well... Not good, huh? Gotta say, I wouldn't have started with the bad guys line. I just couldn't find the right thing to say. Yeah, I know it's hard. But all that matters is getting Nanoha away from that dirt bag. I don't know. We'd been apart for so many years, I was probably way out of line to tell her to break up with her boyfriend. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't even take my calls if she knew I've been checking up on her this entire time. But at least she still doesn't realize I know about her being employed at a soap land. She can never find out, not ever. I'll pretend not to know for the rest of our lives if I have to. But how do I help her without letting on what I know? If I do nothing, Katsuragawa might bankrupt her and she'll end up right back at the soap land. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm freaking out! None of this choice works. Let's find her someone better. Could always wait for the winter to roll around. That's that's pretty much what we're doing. Uh, a little herbal tea goes a long way. I mean, I don't know. Uh, what should I do? Uh, 
let's find her someone better. I think that's probably, um, yeah, I guess. Well, I guess I'll just have to use my ace in the hole. Oh, God. Huh? You've had a plan this whole time? I sure do. You introduce Nanoha to a guy who's better than her boyfriend. Then she'll drop that loser like a rock. No way. Her heart is a complete mystery. I mean, we're talking about a woman who fell in love with Katsuragawa. Hear me out. You bring in a shining stud that makes all the other dudes look like ass. I bet he'll catch your eye. Okay, but you're forgetting I don't know any guys like that. Where do I find a stud? Come on. I'm sure he's closer than you think. Where? You're looking at him. Oh, God, what? <laughs> <laughs> you think you're the dreamy type, Ichiban? <laughs> That's even funnier than your hair. <laughs> I wasn't joking. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, if it helps, I definitely feel more cheerful about this now. <laughs> uh, all uh, right. That's good. Good shit, then. Okay. What else can we do? There has to be something. Well, if you really don't think we can convince Nano how to dump them, I don't know. Hmm... <sighs> Wait, we've been looking at this all wrong. We need to get Katsuragawa to stay away from Nanoha, not the other way around. How are you gonna do that? Beat him up and run him out of town? If he were the kind of guy to give up just like that, sure. But he probably isn't. Especially now that he knows Nanoha's willing to be his piggy bank. If we screw this up, he might even take her with him when he bails. I can't let that happen. I think what we gotta do is crush his pride. Like, get Nanoha to break up with him without shedding a single tear, as if he's nothing to her. And how do we do that? Oh. That's so obvious, Sachan. Oh, Haven't wow. Haven't you caught on yet? To oh, what? Oh, no. You pretend to be Nanoha and break up with him. Use the twin angle to your advantage. Yeah, march in and tell Katsuragawa you never want to see him again. I'll stand there and look intimidating while you give him the boot. That'll have him running. I see. That might actually work. Let's do it. All we need is to find out where Katsuragawa's hanging out. Your employees could probably do that, right? No problem. I'll tell the girls to start looking for him right away. Great. We wait for their word, and we move in for the kill. It'll go fine. I'll be right there with you to make sure he doesn't give you trouble. <laughs> it's a date. Good thinking today, Ichiban. I'll go tell the girls to start asking around. She and her sister are a handful, but it feels like we're finally going to wrap this up. There we go. Grow stronger will now gain more experience when he's not in the active party. So I think probably one more uh, interaction with her. Uh, that will max her out and maybe give her the devil rocker. I don't know if she has it. Anyway, let me just come back and save again. It probably already auto saved it for me. Um, the way I see this conversation goes, I will parallel or uh, compare it to in the uh, Kiwami or Zero when you have to run the um, club where you have interaction with the hostess and build a relationship with them. Um, you know, uh, I think they just trying to incorporate every aspect of the Yakuza game series into this one. Just making Welcome. sure that you still have that feel. Um, all right, there we go. Just bring me the good. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, what do I have? What do I need to bring though? So for me to make a material needed, uh, onion daikon. Oh, so I can actually buy uh, make lunch boxes. So I can already make this chill noodle lunch box, 500 XP. That's why you are ma okay. Still missing potato and onions, so I need Thanks. to buy seeds and stuff if I want to make. I'm assuming these items are actually pretty useful in their own right. Um, you know, I guess as the game progresses, you're gonna, you know, you no longer need an item that just boosts up your HP for ten or even a hundred, right? Anyway, uh, let's move on to. Um, all right, let's go. 
Where am I going? North, right? So if I got north and then start moving. All right, let's see it. I'd like to move on to the next story. At least end the video there if I can. Well, I think Barry John is almost going to level up again, so we'll probably within the next two fights. Alright, we are going into a brand new territory. Huh, Korean town notoriety is at threat levels at three. Can I pick this up? Anything here? Nothing. Alright. Right, you kind of have to go across and then... Alright, I wonder if the enemy level... Well, I mean, it's definitely going to go up. I don't see why not. Just logic, right? And... Oh. <laughs> Party attack. Oh, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Alright, we are in... Brand new territory. Should I go... You know what? Let's go around this way. And... There, uh, there are two machines. All right. Mm -hmm. 500 yen. Mm -hmm. Nothing here. Oh, okay. I will take that. I will gladly take these. Probably something in this corner. Anything? Nope. All right. Sorry. Uh, there's a restaurant. Uh, I wonder what that is. Wait, what? Oh, here. Oh, it looks high end. Oh, they're playing Pakamitai. Irasaimase. Kapo Katsumi. Kap oh, Kapo. So, this is the uh, best recommended uh, recover full. You know what? We're going to come back. So, if it's a couple, is there a couple for me to take a picture? Maybe here? No. You figure they would. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, it's alright. Let's just keep going. Yeah, I still need to hunt down the uh, various couple of statues around the town. But there we go. The nice. The Ferris wheel. The Yokohama Ferris wheel. It's a good touch. Really? Oh, level 12? You know what? I'm just gonna... Just gonna finish you guys in one shot, hopefully. That was quick. There's another taxi here. And what is this? Oh, golf! <sighs> Heaven's golf. Golf mini game. All right, I will do that next time for sure. What? Oh, so this is actually fairly beginning beginner range. It's okay. What is this? Okay, that's fine. Cool. Oh wait, he has one level 22, so he's the leader. Never mind. Did I break down that car as well? That was quick. All right. Alright, and we level up. I'm getting stronger. Yes, you are. Ah, uh, what a meager stats boost. Anyway. Bank. Oh, almost there, second floor. Uh, Alright, you wanna fight? Let's just, let's, let's just finish this. Huh? Oh, you can even see it on the, on the second floor, Bleach Japan, right there. So, um... Alright. 
See it here, information for the floor, right? Look at this. You have all the different ones, and of course, MPO. <laughs> Bleach Japan. Let's go there. Is it here? Oh, wrong place. I'm just trying to avoid the enemy, but they're walking this way. I think they're gonna see us. Um, I guess there's no way around them. Can I just hurry up and... Let me just see if I can actually... Come here, guys. Oh... Passing by. But then, you see the other group also coming? Let's get out of here. Hmm? Hmm? What was that? I was out of nowhere. <laughs> Let's do it. Wouldn't he be like the ex Gomijo? <laughs> Let me see. I'll show you. Senpei chop. Cool. Wouldn't Check this out. Here we go. Let's go. I'm ready. You are now. Okay, that's a glitch. You're in it now. Where, where are you attacking? Take it. You sure you beat me? I got this. I got this. Let's go. Okay, we got it. Good fight. Yo. Save. 